What's up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. I have several boxes worth of Sailor Moon merchandise that I've purchased from different places here in North America. So I was really excited to show you all of these as one just really huge haul. Now everything that you see here you can currently get online or at least most of it you can. So I will link to each of the different directories down below and I will also list price if I can find it as usual. A lot of these items are from Hot Topic and Box Lunch Gifts and those items may be sold out already but if they aren't I will definitely link those as well. Some of these are actually fan-made items and a few of these items in this haul are from eBay so some of them are used, things that you could find in America and some are brand new. So I just decided I was gonna stick them all into one big haul and show you all the cool stuff that you can get here in North America. So I will go ahead and start with this box, which is nothing new, but this was super exciting for me because I haven't seen these since I was a little kid. These are several of the mixed comics versions of the original mangas that were translated into English of Sailor Moon. So I don't have all of them. I have about half of them here. These are just the ones that I was able to find online uh, through this eBay seller. But luckily I got them for a really, really cheap price. Sometimes these are priced way too high, like $12, $15 each, and they are pretty common. So they really shouldn't be priced that high, honestly. So I felt fairly lucky that I was able to find all of these for maybe $25, which is a really good price given that each one would be about $3 each. So way back in the 90s, back in my day when I was a kid I would go to my comic book store which was also a like car modification type store where they sold like bassy speakers and underglow for your car and stuff like that need for speed guys that was the thing and uh, I could pick up Sailor Moon mix comics like these so I got a few of the ones that I used to read when I was a kid because I don't have the ones that I had in the 90s I got numbers 1 2 3 4 9 10 11 12 13 14 and then we skip all the way up to 24 25 26 27, uh, 29, 30, and that's it. This seller also supplied me with this very old but in very, very good condition Smile magazine. Uh, this was how I was first introduced to the Sailor Moon comic back in the day was through these kind of magazines because they would feature one chapter from the Sailor Moon comic as well as a bunch of other ones. So an example of this one would be Clover by Clamp and Peach Girl by Miwa Ueda, which I was also a fan of. Moving on from there, I got this item right before Christmas and it is a licensed item and uh, I've already worn it because it was awesome and I, how could I not? So this is very, very comfortable. Uh, for the record, I got like size medium, I wanna say, or maybe it's a size small, I don't remember. It is a size small, I got a size small and it still fits, wow, amazing must be men's sizes. So this is a Sailor Moon ugly Christmas sweater. And I honestly don't think it's that ugly. It is very, very soft. I loved wearing it right before Christmas. It was wonderful for the holidays. It is about half cotton and half acrylic, hence why it is so soft. And they do recommend hand washing it with cold water. Uh, I ended up just doing a gentle cycle in my washer and it came out just fine. And it didn't shrink or anything like that, which I was super happy about. But I highly recommend this if they still have it in stock. I think I got it from like, I don't know, funcostumes.com or costumes.com, some weird website, just totally off the wall. Uh, but it was pretty inexpensive and the shipping was pretty quick so I was really happy that I was able to get this. I won't go into a lot of details with these but I was also able to pick up numbers 5 and number 6 of the Sailor Moon Eternal editions of the mangas. I've already started reading through these and they look really amazing and the translations are awesome. If you haven't picked up the Eternal editions of the mangas, they're currently being printed. I think we are on number 7 or 8 now uh, but they are coming out from time to time. They're about 20 to $25 each so pretty kind of on the high side but if you wait a little bit they do get less expensive. I've seen them for as low as like eight, 16 to $18 so you can definitely find them under 20 bucks but it's because they're so big they're so beautiful like they have really really nice edge to edge printing lots of color pages 
definitely worth the money. These are my favorite copies of the English Sailor Moon mangas, so highly recommend the Eternal Editions. They are beautiful. Sailor Moon Sailor Stars came out. This is part two. It is the last part of the original Sailor Moon DVD and Blu-ray combo packs, and the last part of the entire series. So I was super excited about this. Obviously, I have not opened it yet because a girl hasn't had time in between trying to move and pack all of my stuff. So I'm probably just going to keep it in the packaging until I get to my new house and I'm able to take it out and burn it and be able to actually watch through all of the English episodes. Currently, I've just been pulling them up on Hulu whenever I feel like watching them, which I know is a little bit behind as far as the um, as far as when they actually introduce them and post them online compared to what you can get in the Blu-ray because this is already out. I don't think that the well, maybe episode 200 in the dub is available on Hulu. I'll have to check. But yes, this is currently available. You can collect the entire series of Sailor Moon, the original anime, but in new dub. Highly recommend. They did a really great job with the dub and I absolutely love it. So I'm really excited to open this up, add it to my collection, and actually watch episode 200 in English. That's going to be incredible. So I got two of these. They were very, very hard to find and they sold out almost immediately. I believe these were from Box Lunch, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, these are ramen bowls with chopsticks and they do have this beautiful print of a gold foil crescent moon on the front which is obviously Sailor Moon because it has all the different planetary symbols. It's also 16 ounces so it's a nice big cup for your ramen uh, which I'm very excited about. I'm gonna go ahead and open this and take a look at it. On the back of this it says hand wash only, do not soak, do not microwave, and this was 1990 original MSRP. That's cool. The print goes all the way around to the back, so you get the print on both sides, which is awesome. Uh, the chopsticks that come with this are pretty basic, and unfortunately, mine are broken. Oh, that's cool. That's okay, though. I actually have some really good chopsticks that I got from, I think, Isatan last time I was in Tokyo. So I just use those. I never really use these cheapo ones anyway. So it's fine that those are broken, but I'll leave them in there for now. Uh, but yes, you can see the beautiful gold foil on both edges, both sides. It looks really, really pretty. And we also have the planetary symbols just for the inner Sailor Senshi, not the outers. There's also a really pretty viney rose art along the edges as well so this will be a very nice very nice ramen glass for me to use to eat my ramen in. So along with those super cute ramen bowls I also picked up matching wine glasses. So these aren't necessarily the correct shape for any specific wine like they're not the normal ones that you would find at any store uh, but these will do just fine for reds or whites it doesn't really matter that much unless you're like a wine snob that goes to Napa. Trust me how do I know because I'm in San Francisco and I'm only like 45 minutes away from Napa so these these are weird things you get different shapes for the different kinds of wine that you drink but this will work just fine for for most people as far as drinking wine out of them. Uh, I really like the shape. I like that it's a little bit bigger because that means I can fit more wine in it because, you know, I like to drink my wine, not sip it. And this does have the gold foil print on the front of it. It doesn't go all the way around to the back, but that's perfectly fine. And this was $16.90 MSRP. It says that it's a stemless glass, so it doesn't call it a wine glass, but they basically are. And it also says do not microwave on the bottom, so keep that in mind. So Box Lunch has been killing it with this adorable kitchenware lately. And one other thing I decided to get is this latte mug. I'm going to go ahead and open this because it looks really pretty and I wanted to see what it actually looks like out of the box. Okay, so here is the latte mug. It's short but it's also very wide, so it has plenty of room on the inside. Uh, I was kind of expecting from the pictures online that it would be metal, but it's actually ceramic, at least it feels like that. Uh, this one also is hand wash only, do not soak, and the gold foil moons really stand out against this purple color, this light lavender color. There's also a bunch of cute little bunny rabbits and cute little stars, and the inside of it is this really pretty darker purple color. Uh, I love this mug. This is super cute. I can't wait to use this for like all of my sweet tea because that's what I drink is sweet tea. Oh hey! I just opened up another box and I found Sailor Moon Eternal Edition number seven. So it turns out we are on number seven right now and they are currently printing number eight 
which I don't believe has come out quite yet at time of recording. So you can grab this one. It is available at Barnes & Noble and it's super pretty. I got mine from Right Stuff Anime because they ship them really, really well. So you don't end up with any marks or anything around the edges. The book doesn't get damaged and that's really important to me because I collect these and I love them and they're so beautiful. So this one looks gorgeous. I love that it has Saturn and Pluto on it. Oh, they're my faves. So also from Right Stuff Anime, I picked up these five little mini figures. These are figure art minis and they are labeled one through five for all the inner Sailor Senshi. Uh, there are a couple of other videos I will link down to below in the Sailor Moon community that have already unboxed these and show you the different poses that they can do. So I'm not gonna go through all of that here, but I did want to show you them boxed because they are super, super cute. I know from watching those videos, it'll take a little while to get them all unboxed and put together because they are apparently kind of finicky. So I'm just gonna leave them in the box for now. I think they look super cute and I like the w little window displays so you can see them really well. So I don't know, maybe I won't even take them out of the box. I don't really see a reason why I would want to. They're not covered up with paper or plastic like they are with the figure at Zero Chalettes. So I could leave them in there and you can still see their faces just fine. But these are licensed figures. They do come from Bandai and Tamashi Nations. So I believe, yes, there are stickers on them. So we get, you get the Tamashi Nations quality sticker as well as the toy and an animation sticker on each of them. I really hope that they continue this line too because they are super, super cute. I would love to see the Outer Sailor Senshi as minis too because they would look adorable. Oh my gosh. And they're numbered, so they're totally collectible. I mean, like, if you get one of them, you're going to end up getting all of them. So most, if not everything else, is fan-made. There might be a few other licensed items in here, but I think everything else that I'm going to show you in this video is fan-made. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this first item, which I was very much looking forward to. So Jen Bartel, I think that's her name. Yeah, Jen Bartel. She does really amazing fan art of Sailor Moon. So I wanted to get some of her prints that she has done as well as a coloring book. So these are the prints I got. You can tell that there is gold foil up at the top of this print and it features a human Luna, which of course human Luna is one of my favorites. Uh, this print is signed by Jen Bartel and this one is of course Princess Serenity. And this one is Black Lady. So I just thought they were really stunning and I love them. Like these are pieces that I could totally frame and put on the wall because they're, they're just so beautiful. They're really pretty, high quality too. And this is a little sticker of the print uh, and it kind of looks like a tarot card. So I sort of fell in love with it. This is the coloring book that she made. Originally this came out at a convention and I wasn't even sure if I'd be able to buy it online, but it turns out I was able to get it online. So this is the front of it. This is the back. It is a 24 page coloring book. So there's plenty, plenty to work with in here. Uh, I'm not going to show you all of the pages because I don't want to spoil it for anybody who wants to buy it themselves, but I will flip through to a few of my favorites. Here is Chibiusa and Sailor Saturn. Beautiful. And there's Pegasus up at the top. That is so pretty. I love how she designed each of the characters in here. They're really, really pretty. Uh, there's the one from the front page as well as Sailor Pluto. So cute. Oh, so pretty. Ooh, we have some enemies in here. All the ladies. Very cool. We also have Mr. Snine, Black Lady, and Human Luna with all of her gorgeous hair. I wonder if she did anything of... <gasps> she did! Sailor Cosmos, awesome. That is so cool. I just love how she designed each of these. They have really, really nice features. I love how Jen Bartel draws eyes. They're just so stunning and so deep, full of depth. I definitely wanted to get my hands on this. It's so pretty. I don't know if I even wanna like screw it up by coloring it. Like, should I just leave it blank? I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> okay, let's get into some fun pins and things like that. So first we have from Lolly Vamp. I got a cute little badge pin that looks like a Pokeball, but it's in Black Lady's colors. I also grabbed this adorable vinyl sticker of a Halloween Sailor Moon. So Lolly Vamp did this really adorable set of inner Sailor Senshi as little witches. So I decided to pick up the pack of all five of them. So we have Sailor Moon, Mars, Jupiter, Mercury, and Venus. 
Each of them features her own art and they also have really pretty sparkly hats and sparkly outfits. So I thought they were super cute and each of them has their own little personality. They're so cute. I highly recommend getting these if they are still available online. I also decided to get a few different Sailor Moon pins from a guy named Ryan Marquez. He's on Instagram. I'll link his Instagram down below. He does these really amazing like full body pins of the inner Sailor Senshi. He's currently working on Sailor Venus so I'm definitely going to make sure that I order her as well. I have Sailor Moon somewhere. I don't know where I put her. Hopefully she's around here somewhere but she's probably on my pin board. I don't know. But I did decide to get Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, and Sailor Jupiter to add to my collection because they're super super cute. These scrunchies were available Available on either Hot Topic or Box Lunch and they feature Luna and Artemis on the first one. There's also another satin bow that features all of Sailor Moon's items and the last scrunchie is just simply velvet and it's purple and purple is my favorite color so I wanted a velvet purple scrunchie. Also I lost a bunch of my scrunchies so I was like I need to get some new ones. These sticker packs were available on Amazon. Uh, can't necessarily recommend them because they were rather expensive. They were like $12 each which is a little bit pricey for sticker packs uh, and they do not appear to be licensed maybe they are somewhere but these are from I believe they're from Taiwan yeah it looks like they're no they're Korean they are Korean stickers but I found these on Amazon so you can get them shipped in the US I'll link them below if you are interested but Fair warning, they are kind of pricey. These were just some hilarious things I got for Christmas. Uh, this is Sailor Moon or Usagi flicking off whoever's looking at her, which I think will look great on the back of my laptop. I mean, it's perfect, right? And these two are hand soaps. So we have a Luna hand soap that smells like grape candy. Oh, maybe that's where the grape smell is coming from. It smells really good though. Grape candy, and the other one is sweet pink sugar. Also smells amazing, so I can't wait to use these. Here's another Usagi Halloween witch pin. This one is by Red Fox Pins, also adorable. I'll link to them down below. And these are some sticker sets that are by Sugar Bones. So you can find these over at sugarbones.net. Don't know if they're currently in stock, but you can try and I will link them down below as well. But these feature all of the Sailor Senshi as basically Sailor Scouts, beat em up Sailor Scouts. That's what they're called. Uh, and they basically look like they could beat you up. They're so cute. I just adore them. This huge and incredible pin, absolutely incredible, is by, it's the Crescent Moon series and it's by, let's see, Twin Bear Creations, the pin creator. Um, Incredible, like speechless, how huge this thing is, and it has this gorgeous stained glass crescent moon around Luna. I mean, it's human Luna, so obviously it's going to be incredible as it is, but the printing on here is just flawless. It's just gorgeous, like totally speechless about this pin. It's one of my favorites. It's going on my pin board no matter what. Like, I will make room for this one because this is just out of this world amazing. Looks so good, highly recommend it. Well worth the money, so pretty. Lastly are some cute pins by Little Lunar Rabbit Designs. I have purchased a few items from her at a convention and I saw this Kickstarter and I was like, oh, those are cute. So these are called the Guardian Constellations. I have Hotaru's Saturn symbol up at the top. I also got Chibiusa's in the middle and Helios down at the bottom. Also with this Kickstarter, she had stickers. So I decided to opt for this holographic Moonlight is a Messenger of Love sticker, as well as the matching keychain, which is also holographic. It's very pretty. And as kind of a little bonus thing, she had lanyard. So I grabbed this lanyard, which is super, super cute. It also has little lunar rabbit designs on, on it, as well as a very cute little emblem of a rabbit on a moon. Okay, I think that's officially it as far as my items that I have gotten from America. So I hope you enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed unpacking all those items so I can finally use them, which is going to be wonderful. So let me know what your favorite items were. I'm super excited about all of these. I will link below to the creators if I can find their different website addresses as well as any of these items that are still in stock at like Hot Topic or any of the other websites. I almost forgot one item. <gasps> this is like one of my favorites too. Ooh, I gotta take this out. Oh my goodness. Hook Prism Power on Etsy. Hook Prism Power on Etsy. That's her name. All right, so this girl named Christina makes these really amazing 
beanies and I was like I have to get one so her name's Christina she wrote this letter that says thank you so much for your order I hope you enjoy your new Sailor Moon slouchy feel free to contact me should you have any questions much love from Christina at Hook Prism Power so this is the beanie or the slouchy as she calls it uh, this features Sailor Moon's eternal Fuku colors, which is what I wanted to go for because those are my favorite colors out of all of them. There's also a little wooden laser etched hook prism power label on the beanie, which I thought was adorable. I'm sure it's warm because it does feel really, really nice. It's made out of yarn. Feels nice. Feels very comfy. I might have to turn around because this is on the front. Yeah, I think I should turn around, but you get the idea. Here's the bow. Hopefully you can see it okay. How's that look? I don't know. I can't see it. I would really love to wear this in the wintertime because it is so adorable. So cute. Good thing I'm moving to Colorado. I can actually wear this stuff now. So this is Hook Prism Power. I hope you love it because it's super cute and I'm very excited to actually wear this out because it's adorable. So, so adorable. Okay, as I was saying, let me know what your favorite item is. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs again. I love my Sailor Senshi. Y'all are amazing. Don't forget to comment below, like, and subscribe to this channel if you want more more of this Sailor Moon content. I'll see you next time. Johnny.